Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card you'll need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, one for the inside and one for the top. A piece of coloured cardstock, I'm using um, Highland Heather and this measures two and five eighths by four and five eighths and you need a piece of white measuring two and a half by four and a half. You also need some scrap to cut out all these leaves, the jar and the dragonfly and also the flowers which I've got here. Now the leaves and the dragonfly are already cut out. We've just got to cut that apart and colour it. These leaf bits have come from the, the um, birthday bouquet. bouquet. I have cut them out of them dies. I didn't bring it over with me, did I? No. No, I didn't bring that stamp set over. But that's where I cut them from. In fact, I cut them ages ago. They were in my box. I have a box where everything, if I cut out too much, I put them in and use them another day. This, the butterfly, or dragonfly, should I say, was cut out of this die here. And that is from Dragonfly Dream stamp set. And we will colour two and cut two off. The jar, I don't have that jar of love stamp set. I have this one, Sharing Sweet Thoughts. I think this was the McDonald, Ronald McDonald one last year. So all I want is the jar, which I've mounted up. can use any jar if you want. The sentiment comes from varied vases and I'm just using the word best birthday wishes. So to get started we will stamp and cut out the bars. You have to cut that out by hand so using my Versafine black Stamp that down. Clean it off. I also need to stamp birthday wishes. So I'm going to stamp that there. Which is nice. So get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. We need to cut this out. I'm actually cutting on the line. Oh, come on.
There you are. And the birth of wishes, we just cut it, which I'm going to use big scissors. useless at cutting straight lines and then we'll cut that down a bit and flag it that's our sentiment done right with the jar of all these cut up bits I coloured it in so what I did with that I used um, smoky slate and soft sea foam with the smoky slate I just ooh, caused the shadow down one side and I just Let me grab a bit of paper. Then, if we go off the edges, it's not so bad. That's all I did there, and then with the soft sea foam. I put in some water That was all I did with that. Right. I'll keep this. Now the dragonflies. You pick the best two dragonflies you want. So I'm going to have this one for a start. Because it's easier to cut out. There's one, and the second one was this top one. There we are. Keep them for another time. Colour these in. I use dark grey. And I just coloured the bodies in, in the grey. And the wings, as I'm doing it in Highland Tether this time, I shall just do the wings in Highland Heather. So I've done dark, half of it in dark. And then finish it off with the light. But what I'm going to do with the light is go over the whole wing. Rub a little. Bit 
it in to blend in the dark and the light. There we have a, ooh, a dragonfly, a purple one. Do the same with this one. Colour it all in. And that is our dragonflies done. Right, next thing we need is the little flowers. Now the little flowers have come from these punches, which are in the... Bitty Blooms Punch. I think these are in the occasional catalogue. They go with a stamp set Bloom in Bloom. And these are called Pity Blooms Punch Pack. Pack. So I have used this, this little one here. So we need Two of these, three, six, nine of these little things. I think I'm going to get nine out of here. One. Two. Three. Seven, eight, nine. Look at that. Just put that away afterwards. That can go in the bin. And then with these, I got a pointed end. Well, I actually use my paintbrush. Put them in my hand. And just pressed them down. And I did that with all nine of them. I press too hard, you'll hurt your hand. Give them a bit of dimension, that's all. I'm covered in bruises. That's a blood test yesterday. Oh, not good. Not good at all. Right. What I'm going to do is stick, yeah, stick this all on and then put the vase on and everything. A uh, jar, jam jar. 
I know in America you call them mason jars. We call them jam jars here. that one on. that on. Like this we'll put in the middle or in the middle we can get. Right, we'll pop that there. But we're not going to glue that down yet. What we are going to do is arrange our flowers. And we'll snip some of these off. We don't need all of them. So. Oh, better not cut them all in case I need, do need them longer. Right. Put two. And three big ones there, and then these little ones, we'll just spread them around. I have got, I think I've got six of each. Some more big ones in. If you get my drift, you just load them all up with flowers or leaves. And then that will sit on top. So let's stick these down. So a bit of ink on each leaf, ink, glue. I'm not um, you know, gluing every leaf down, just putting enough down to hold them down. Put that one up a bit, so that's going to go there. Yeah. Put this one right on the outside. This new leaf, um, yeah, there. And this second leaf, um, 
down a bit and just have it in there that can go up there and that's all our leaves on don't need that one so we can stick down our jar needs to go up a bit more don't want it right on the edge Now with our flowers, we just glue each, put a pot, spot of glue on and just pop them randomly over the jar. Over the jar. Over the flowers. Over the... God, what's wrong with me today? Over the leaves. these down, press them down, and with the dragonflies, what I did with these is just bent the wings up a bit and put some glue on their bodies, their tail. And I had one here going towards the flowers. And the other one down here a bit. sentiment I did put on dimensionals. I used tiny or well, the mini dimensionals, put three of them on. Still not straight. That's better. I'll start that. There. I'll just have a quick drink. on my glue and get some gems I 
And what we do is put gems in each flower. Right, what I'm going to do, I noticed with the other one, one's fell off. So I'm just going to put a spot of glue in each flower. Lucky this glue dries clear, so won't matter if there's a bigger blob than need be. And then I just Let's put one back on the one that's fell off. Right, all I got to do now is put a bit of linen thread on the jar. Nice little bow. do is put a little bit of glue on there and hold it in place for a minute or two fly wing oh there you have it hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and if you press the bell button next to it you'll be notified of any more videos I upload and that is usually a Monday Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thank you for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.